Hey everyone, welcome to another video. And this time, since I haven't opened anything in what feels like a while at least, got an hour of devastation just for you and me, obviously. Because cards. Cards. I wish cards were cheaper. But, you know, until they're free, I will always wish that they're cheaper. And considering businesses can't run off of free, I don't think it's going to happen. Think that's Scarab God? I don't look, or Locust. Is that Locust? I don't know. But anyway, open the card. I don't know if you can hear that actually, but thought I'd try. Let's see. Since I only have one today, I'm um, going to read the cards. Act of Heroism, cost of planes and one. Untapped target creature, it gets plus two, plus two until end of turn and can block an additional creature this turn. Yay. Which I still don't have my laptop back. Toshiba has it. They have to wait for parts to come in. Yay. But hey, they're fixing it. That's what really matters. Next card is Puncturing Blow. It costs two mountains and two. It deals five damage to target creature. If that creature would die this turn, exile it instead. So good against the gods. Yay. So used to my old webcam. But the seal on the outside of the laptop, you know, up here towards right above the webcam. Yeah, there's my hand. It was coming apart. And I think it was because of the way the hinges were. But we'll go into that later in another video. Next card is Spellweaver Eternal. It costs island and one. It has prowess, which means whenever you cast a non-creature spell, it gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. And it has Afflict two, which means if it's blocked, Defending Fire loses two life, and it's a two-one. So unless if you beef it, they're losing two life, which is nice. I think this webcam is worse than my other one, you know, from my laptop I don't have right now. <coughs> so yeah, there you go. Next card is Dauntless Haven. It looks weird, but that might be just how it's printed. I don't know. Costs planes and two, and it has flying, and whenever it attacks, untap target creature you control. Kay. And it's a 2-1. Good for exert. You know, if it was exerted last time. I don't know. Anyway, who cares? Um, next card is Frilled Sandwallow. Cost of Forest, being paid Forest in one to give it two plus two plus two until end of turn. And you can only activate that ability once per turn, and it's a 1 1. I don't know why I'm holding this card so weird. It's like my brain says no. Which, I'm not recording with, like, a built-in camera program. I'm recording with OBS, because I don't know how to get the webcam to work otherwise. Unless I use that mini-cam thing, which, even with it turned up to full volume, you still can't hear me. So, next card is Lethal Sting. It costs Swamp and 2. As an additional cost to cast Lethal Sting, put a negative 1, negative 1 counter on a creature you control to destroy target creature. I think when I did use this, like in pre-release, um, I put it on a creature that says remove a negative one, negative one counter off of it and add a mana or something. Something like that. Our next comment is Steadfast Sentinel. It costs planes and three. It has vigilance and eternalize of two planes and four. And it's the exact same thing except for as a four, four black zombie. And it's a two, three. Yay. I have not seen, seen a single zombie except for that one blue thing, which I don't use. Will you focus? I guess the webcam's just that crappy. I'm sorry. Desert of the True is next, and it enters the battlefield tap, and you tap it to add a planes to your mana pool, and you have cycling of planes in one. Or maybe my hand's just that shaky. That's also a possibility. Next card is Life Goes On. It costs a force. You gain four life. If a creature died this turn, you gain eight instead. I always tilt this weird. I, I don't know. 
think my hand's just really shaky, and that's what's going on here. Let me let me do this. Okay. Next card, which is our first uncommon, is a cursed horde. It costs swamp and three, and you pay swamp and one. Target attacking zombie gains indestructible until end of turn, and it's a three three. Here, let me block out the sun, also known as my ceiling fan. This webcam really does suck. Though I don't think it's actually that much worse, it just, it's horrible. Or maybe it's because it's OBS on top of my crappy webcam, you know? Next card is Fervent Paincaster. It costs Mountain and 2. You can tap it, and it deals 1 damage to target player. Or you can tap Exert, it deals 1 damage to target creature. And it's a 3-1. God, am I that shaky or does my webcam suck that much? <laughs> Sorry, everyone. I'm trying. I don't want to leave y'all with nothing. Um, next uncommon is Unraveling Mummy. It costs Swamp, Planes, and 1. You cost, you pay Planes and 1, target attacking zombie gains life link until end of turn. Or pay Swamp and 1, target attacking zombie gains death touch until end of turn, which really you could pay both. And it is a 2-3. Yay. Zambies. Zambies everywhere. Ooh. Our rare card, which is kind of nice in my opinion, is Torment of Hailfire. Hail. Hail. Like snow. Hard snow. Cost two swamps and X. Repeat the following process X times. Each opponent loses three life unless that player sacrifices a non-land permanent or discards a card. Yeah. Which I'm just thinking. Commander. It'd be nice for Commander. Especially late game, if you don't have much out for some reason. Except for lands. We do have a fool. And it's a forest. Eee, shiny, shiny, shiny. Shiny. And then we got a full art planes and a warrior creature token. I love full arts. Send me all of them. I need more. I want all my decks to have full arts. Anyway. That was a booster pack. Um, I hope y'all are having a nice day. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.